What if I told you that you can build an entire front-end application without writing a single line of JavaScript? How is that possible? Well, let me introduce to you HTMX in under 100 seconds. All right, let's get into it. HTMX is a library that provides access to modern browser features using HTML. It does this by enhancing HTML elements through additional attributes. What's different between HTMX and other UI frameworks is that all the logic is handled completely on the backend. HTMX development follows an architectural design known as Hypermedia as the engine of application state. Instead of managing state on the client side, the server returns back the possible actions that a user can perform in HTML. With HTMX, any element can perform HTTP requests to the backend. This is done by providing an attribute with HTTP WERP and the URL endpoint. The HTML that is returned from the backend will then be used to replace the current div. You can also specify the HTML response to be added elsewhere by defining the HX target with the target class name or ID. In addition, you can define the behavior of how an element is triggered by defining the HX trigger, such as click or mouse enter. These events can be further modified to change its behavior. For example, the change only issue requests if the value of the element has changed. Delay with some time. If you like a spinner or something to show up while waiting for a response to appear, you can wrap an element inside the request element with the class of HTMX indicator that will only appear while the request is in progress. The HX swap is used to determine how the response should be added. By default, the response replaces the inner HTML of the target element. HTMX is an interesting technology that challenges the way we think about web applications. One of the things that make HTMX so compelling is the reduced complexity of front-end development. With HTMX, we don't have to think about the build process, virtual DOM, client-side state management and routing, and a few others. We just have to make a request and wait for the backend to return back HTML and we tell it where to display. Because the backend is responsible for returning back the HTML, this means that we can return only the data that is required for the page. Nothing more and nothing less. Another point to mention is that this can make development faster since we don't have to worry about API contracts between the client and the backend. Traditionally speaking, once you define backend requests and response format, it makes it very difficult to change because the client would also need to be updated. However, with HTMX development, we can just update it on the fly. HTMX is also great if your development team is not a JavaScript workshop. HTMX can be used with any backend programming language of choice, as long as it has great support for templating. What about Node and JavaScript? Any backend programming language. Nah, I'm good. I'll just stick with JavaScript. HTMX works well when your application doesn't require a lot of UI interactions and UI interdependencies. Imagine an application like Excel Sheets where you're constantly interacting with the UI elements and each interaction with a single UI element triggers many different actions with other elements. Trying to solve this with HTMX could become a nightmare. HTMX is a great choice if you're strictly working with web, but as soon as you introduce mobile to the equation, then is it the right choice? Since the backend is strictly returning HTML, do we need to introduce a separate backend service just for mobile? To me, if we have to do that, that seems like a lot of maintenance just to keep the two services in sync. If your application supports offline functionality, then HTMX is definitely not the correct technology choice since it relies heavily on the backend to render the HTML. I know we mentioned that HTMX is quite easy as a technology, but the complexity is shifted to the backend. In order to incorporate HTMX, you first need to know your backend framework, a good library for templating, and general backend knowledge just to get started. Overall, I think HTMX is a good fit for some situations, but maybe not in others. If your application is mainly fetching and displaying data with some CRUD operations, then it's a definitely a great choice. Have you worked with HTMX before? Can you let me know what your experience is like? It has been fun learning about HTMX and having a different mindset when it comes to web development than what I'm used to. I hope that you find this video useful and give HTMX a try. Thank you for watching, David signing off, and I hope to see you in the next one.